Okay, in this video what I want to do is show you how to use the MCR instruction. Okay, now the MCR instruction will shut every non-retentative thing down inside of its fenced zone. And I'll show you what that means here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create, I'm going to go ahead and create a simple toggle tag one. And then I'm going to grab the MCR instruction. And to do that, you need to move over to the program control bin, same place your jump to subroutines were located. And you want to grab the MCR and drop it here. The MCR has no address, it has no ability to give memory, all it will do is it will turn everything on or it will turn everything off based upon uh, if it is activated or not. Okay. One thing that's important about the MCR that people will tend to forget is that if you have one MCR, you need a second MCR. Okay, so you, they need to know what that fenced zone is. So I'll just come here, I have a blank rung here, and I'll have this MCR. So this toggle will control everything in this fenced area, okay? Now, if I wanna move this up, now that MCR will only control the two th these two rungs, and these are outside of that fenced zone. Okay, so where it's actually located will determine what it's actually going to control. Okay, so one of the things that people get sometimes get frustrated about is they don't realize that right away that your MCR has no memory. So if you want to put memory around it, you actually there's a couple of different ways to do that. Okay, so um, bring this up to here, grab this toggle. I'm going to create a start stop station here real fast. All right. So now I have created a start stop station here with toggle bits. Okay. And these could be, you know, this is just normal start stop station out there if you're using your um, regular uh, field devices. But this will toggle this on and lock this MCR on and turn it off when toggle 2 is activated. Okay? And this is a general example of how this actually works and how to program it. Okay? And so here I have some toggle bits to jump to subroutine and things like that. But if I were to download this, this would now work. This would be the complete instruction of, uh, for control. This would be how the MCR actually works. Okay? So this is a quick introduction into the MCR. I hope it helped. Thanks.